Come on in. Welcome to our CAC. This is the new Rochester Community Animal Clinic. Come on in and we'll give you a quick tour around. So we have three exam rooms that we use for our wellness hours. Um, this is our largest room. It's obviously this part of the hospital gets most activity during our wellness hours. Um, during our surgery days, most of the activity happens back here. This is our canine holding area. All of the dogs that are checked in during our surgery days come into, usually into this room. So they all come in here, they, they await their surgery day, and then they also, after they're fully recovered and go through their recovery station, they'll come back in here and wait for discharge. We have people obviously checking in on them frequently to make sure everybody's recovering well. This is our feline holding area. All of the cats that come in during our surgery days, we actually recover right in their carriers. So we do mandate all cats have to come in in their own fully secured, large enough, comfortable carrier. Again, all cats stay out with us until they're fully sternal and recovered. And then they come back in here and wait for discharge. Once one of our dogs or cats has been brought in in the morning, fully examined by the doctor and is ready for surgery, the next step for them would be to come into here. Um, this area is our treatment, our uh, lab area and our pharmacy around the corner there. Um, this area also doubles as recovery during our surgery days. So. All of our cats are recovered up here on the dry table. All of the dogs are recovered on big cushy cushions on the floor. But before they actually go into surgery, they come through our induction room. This is where they get, you know, vaccinated, um, anesthetized, shaved for spay and neuter surgeries, intubated. And then they come into our surgical suite. We've got three tables working. On any given day, we usually have two doctors. Sometimes we also have an intern rotating through. But during our two doctor days, we'll have all three tables in play. One doctor, you know, wrapping up one patient on one table, and then a, a third patient basically being set up on the third table. So as soon as this patient moves into recovery, doctor can move right over to the other table and keep moving. So once the pets again have come through uh, the surgery operating room, they come back out here into our uh, recovery area. Any pets that need either some additional, you know, careful watching after surgery will be placed out here in the recovery area. Um, occasionally, again, the real timid dog will spend his whole day out here just to keep him quiet and away from some of the other barking dogs. Tuesdays, we've started doing group discharges, trying to get, you know, all 12 dogs discharged simultaneously. So we wait for all owners to come back at one time, go through a, you know, post-op and discharge talk with all of them so that we're not saying it, you know, 12 separate times. That's working out really well, so that's pretty much what we do.